studio. This is low car wellness and yoga and Jiva Mukti Whistler. And it's the first Jiva Mukti Center on the West Coast. And we're hoping to share this with all our community from New York, Germany, London, all the Jiva Mukti Centers and all the beautiful students and teachers who I hope over the coming years will share our space. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. This is a harmonium and um, actually its origins were in England. It was taken over to India by the English and it is um, an instrument that is used um, not the same as a piano. So we play with the right hand and the left hand draws the air in and so we literally use it rather like bellows. Um, it is an incredible instrument for making a vibrational sound that helps the essence of mantra. So in actual fact what happens is that um, when we traverse the mind in mantra, when we add a musical instrument like this instrument itself, what happens is that you get the two con con conglomerate together and you get this elevated vibration. So actually the sound becomes elongated and it goes much deeper. It actually works on a very deep vibrational frequency that can connect us to the earth. So the sound of the harmonium and one chanting all becomes something else. So it doesn't sound as it would if you were just chanting the arm on your own. You can play it very easily. It literally um, is, is used uh, in its simplistic form. You can use three fingers. Uh, if you're chanting and you're using it as Kiraton um, Bhakti Yogis do, then they will use the whole of the keyboard. And it's an extraordinary sound. It, it um, lasts for uh, a very long time. It's almost like the Tibetan crystal bowls. The sound vibrates deep within you long after you've left the room. A very powerful and um, poignant um, musical instrument that uh, works so beautifully on a very deep level. It's very powerful. Shadow chasing. Best to leave well alone. Best to be content with what is at hand. Oh, there might be some wonderful things out there somewhere, but there could also be some not so wonderful things as well. Such an attitude is sad, for it smothers curiosity and the promise of dreams. Fear closes the door to the magical life. It silences the streams and stops the winds. Because of fear, we see animals and plants and things as separate from us. The yoga asana practice helps us reconnect to others so that we become connected and not separate from our eternal reality. These are the powers of yoga. Namaste. Unfortunately, we've lost our connection with nature, and I believe this brings us back to all of these things. 
By these shapes and these forms that we make, they are not just for kids to have a good fun yoga class. They are for us to immerse ourselves in the mountain, to immerse ourselves in the cobra, so that we could see what it could be like to be that creature. It's very important. Sharon Gannon and David Life always say the importance of low carb, summer star, suki no babantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may the thoughts, words, and actions of our own life contribute in some way to that happiness and that freedom for all, albeit what could be deemed as an innate object, an ancient cedar tree or a redwood tree, they cry too. And we should take heed of them what we do and how we treat these objects and uh, make sure that we treat them not as others but as um, connected to us and not as separate from us. I think that's so important. It's my passion. Namaste.